The Zodiac Suction Pool Cleaner is the number one selling pool cleaner in Australia. It's powered by Barracuda diaphragm technology. There's no wheels, cogs or noisy hammers, which means whisper quiet operation and low cost maintenance. Before we start troubleshooting your Zodiac pool cleaner, it's important to ensure that your filtration is backwashed or cleaned. Now if you remember from lesson one, it's also very important to make sure that your skimmer basket and your pump basket are cleaned out properly. This will ensure enough suction flow so your Zodiac pool cleaner will work fully. Okay, it's time for troubleshooting, where we will find solutions to your most commonly asked questions. What if my cleaner stops and starts? If your Zodiac pool cleaner stops and starts, then the first thing you might want to do is check the suction flow coming through the hose. You will need your pump on for this operation. Included with your Zodiac pool cleaner is a pool pulse, and it has numbers on it. What we want to do is put this on the end of the hose, under the water, with the suction flow coming through, and have it sit on around number two. If this doesn't come up to number two, then the second thing we might want to check is the AD valve in the skimmer box. The AD valve comes factory set on number two. If we want more suction, we put it up to number three. This might also help if your pool cleaner isn't sufficiently climbing the walls. Once we've done that, and the pool cleaner still isn't working properly, then we might want to check the hose for leaks. What we do there is actually lift the hose out of the water at each join, listening for any leaks. We want to do that all the way around the hose. The next thing we might want to check is the diaphragm inside the Zodiac cleaner. Now it's a good idea to turn your pump and filter off at this stage as you don't want the hose leaking any air through while we're checking. So take the Zodiac diaphragm out and actually check it for any tears or block debris. If it's looking okay, put it back in and call your local pool professional because there might be something more seriously wrong with your system. There could be an air leak in your filtration system or it might be that you've got something blocked inside the pipework going back to your filtration system. What if my cleaner is patterning and not covering the pool properly? If your cleaner is patterning and not covering the pool properly, we suggest that you ensure that the water flow from all return inlets are directed downward and toward each other, or downward and toward the centre of the pool. This will help to prevent water flow from affecting the natural movement of the zodiac hose. If you can't divert the water far enough down in the pool, or the eyeballs you do have don't divert down far enough, then it might be an idea to get an aim flow diverter like this one from your local pool professional. The aim flow diverter pushes into the return line and diverts the water to the bottom of the pool, like so. You should also take the cleaner out of the pool and lay the hose in a straight line in the sun to relax the memory. Leave it there for the best part of a day. When you place the cleaner back in the pool, check that you have the proper hose length. If the pool cleaner is still patterning and not covering the pool properly, then you might need to add one or two extra hose lengths, as mentioned in lesson one. Also, it's important to adjust that hose weight so it's sitting at the end of the first length of hose, the leader hose. What if my cleaner flips over? If your pool cleaner flips over, use the pool pulse to check the correct suction flow and check the swivel on the cleaner to clear any jams. What if my cleaner is not cleaning the pool? If you live in a high leaf area, or an area which has large debris such as gum nuts, you should consider a Polaris pool cleaner. A Polaris will pick up any large debris that a suction cleaner will have difficulty with. If you are still having problems after referring to your manual and troubleshooting your cleaner, it may be possible that the cleaner is not suitable for your pool. Visit our website www.zodiac.com.au and enter the specifications of your pool into our pool cleaner wizard for a recommendation on what's best for your situation or alternatively speak to your pool professional. Always ensure that you disconnect your Zodiac pool cleaner before backwashing your filter. So let's just recap on those points again. If your cleaner stops and starts, check the suction flow using your pool pulse. Check the AD valve, check the pool cleaner hose for any air leaks, and check the diaphragm in your Zodiac pool cleaner. If your pool cleaner is patterning and not covering the pool properly, check that the water flow from all the return inlets is directed correctly. You may need to install an aim flow diverter into the pool's return inlet. Lay the hose straight in the sun to relax the memory. 
and also ensure that you have the correct hose length and adjust the hose weight. If your pull cleaner flips over, use the pull pulse to check the correct suction flow and check the swivel on the cleaner to clear any jams. And lastly, if your pool cleaner is not cleaning the pool, consider an alternative cleaner such as a Polaris. You can also consult your user manual or Zodiac's pool cleaner wizard at www.zodiac.com.au. Now it's time to have a look at chlorine generated troubleshooting.